Good evening, and welcome back to The Crust, where I have been trying to build out a kind of decent layout for the production line that we want to get going. However, in that time, our rover has gone and actually started doing things and the story progressed, so I'm very sorry, but you missed a little tiny bit of it, Alice speaking. Um, um, Director, we have received the transmission from the station. We have responded with the corner to the Atlantis complex as directed by Crust. Okay. Okay, let's see what she has to say. As directed by Crust, we can... What? Incoming call from Crust. Transferring to you. Director, you are holding Hope 2's navigational materials, which give us the correct course to the point of impact. Save the coordinates and destroy the flight recorder. The contents of the flight recorder are the property of Crust. It is in your best interest to comply with the instruction without further questions. I'm counting on your discretion. Okay, understood. The contract requires us to comply and destroy the onboard recorder, which could reveal the reasons behind the crash of Hope 2. It seems that Crust cares more about preserving its secrets than human lives. The question remains, what could be so valuable that they would delay evacuating the crew from the damaged station and risk their lives? We could eliminate the data and forget about it, or examine the black box data before destroying it. But in so doing, we risk falling out of favor with Crust. What do you say, Director? Well, last time we uh, we examined the data. This time we're going to destroy it. It's going to be, yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Cross, sir. We will do whatever you say. I respect your choice, although I am somewhat disappointed. So much valuable data has been lost forever. I know, but, you know, it has to be done. Uh, our science is still going to do its thing there. Um, uh, I have done some contracts to get some money because I need to do some things there, so we've sold some things to get some money going on there. Um, hence why, um, well, aluminium's always been dead for us, but um, uh, yeah, it's not been doing too well here. I um, think that's all good here. Oh, and also I brought a load of uh, rovers. Um, they were cheap. They were stupidly cheap on the market. Uh, they were like 26,000, so I brought loads because um, I could. So yeah, I thought, why not? Why not? Um, uh, so yeah so um so okay so this is going to be uh a case of we have two monster regular machines which come in here and start pressing the goods uh this comes in here splits down this will be an elevator at one point so it splits evenly between the two um this will come down here so we have iron aluminium titanium silicon down here's where we're going to do smart concrete um i just want the bots to build things however for some unknown reason they are obsessed with picking up slag bots are absolutely obsessed with picking up slag for some for some reason i don't know why don't know why at all so um, however what i am going to do is build the mining drone uh, uh building the um uh, let's put that let's put this just up behind that one there we'll rotate it 90 degrees so it looks a little bit different uh, and we'll connect that to there. But they are obsessed with apparently doing the slag. That seems to be the only thing they'll do. They're not going to build anything, they're not going to do anything. So, um, what are they now? Are they building stuff now? They assume that they're building stuff now. Okay, cool. Right. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. So, um, I need to move my science rover because our science is dying as well. Uh, oh, what we got here? We've got distress call and wreckage. Let's go to the wreckage. We want to complete this. We need some rovers to send over to here. We could do that right now, actually. Uh, let's do that. Um, we'll come in here to the exhibition center to get things done. That'd be fine. Uh, 232, we have 300 power. So power's not so bad. Hey, aha, we have this here. So let's up our mining drone. Let's get four haulers. So we're going to have 15 bots, five haulers, and five miners. Although the miners have kind of finished doing their thing now. So, um, Maybe I should uh, need to not do that. I need to really mine that way for this because they're all gonna drive up to the top now. I think so. Yeah. Oh, crash site. Uh, Desert Valley was record for crash spaceship. The cylindrical body remains of solar panels suggest it was a satellite disabled by the explosion and fell from orbit. Scott Martin. Signs of extreme heat are evident, telling the catastrophic event that caused the downfall. 
James Bond, or as Iron Tragic, Tragic, a stark reminder of the perils of lunar exploration. Scorch marks and extreme heat. I mean, there's no atmosphere on the moon, so I don't know how it would get extreme heat on re-entry. So it's fine. It's fine. Uh, okay. Uh, you are going to be for silicon oxide. So, um, yeah, but I'm going to actually, for the moment, turn off the output here. Build this here. Um, I have built this in a way. Uh, no, I've not. I've just messed that up. Uh, get rid of that one. And then, oop, there we go. That's what I want to do. That's better. I built this in a way so that each one of these has space around it to upgrade to the larger containers when we get them. So, they've also, we just need to remove these two belts. That's fine. The underground belts are in a position where this could be made the large container. So, could this, so could this, so could this, so could that, and so could that. So, we can have the large container storing things. Uh, also, here, um, I've not read on it here, but that's okay because this is not the final place of it. Remember, we're going to have an elevator here sending these goods down. So, uh, the elevator might even be over here, uh, and then it will have like two outputs to this one and two outputs to, to two over here. Um, yeah we might do that i'm not sure exactly what we'll do with that yet so um, but yeah but we are processing the stuff and doing the things and you are going up to here now i want to change all of these to make sure they are allowed drop off as well so our bots can start cleaning stuff up for us be awesome i do not know whether this is going to be uh, a good idea or not the uh, the layout of this place is going to be a good idea or not I have absolutely no idea. Uh, there is going to be a big gap between this and the um, uh, the smart concrete. I can't really do a great deal about that because I need to leave space to put the larger containers down here, especially for the slag, especially for the slag. So, um, so yeah, so the smart concrete factory um, is going to have to go like here. Like there. And I want to I, guess I want to flip it round, but I don't really actually. Uh, it doesn't particularly matter which way round I put this. Um, it needs to go down further by one, so we can put it there, and then just um, yeah, I think we'll do that. And then you will come along and go into that one. And you'll split there. You will come along here. Director, we have detected an object approaching the surface of the moon. It must be... Director, we received a message from the Atlantis Complex area. We transmitted its coordinates to the Hope 2 station, so perhaps the crew managed to evacuate successfully. I hope so, because um, <laughs> we don't have anything for you to live in, so yeah. Good thing we can reach you. I'm speaking on behalf of Hope 2, our commander instead. He did everything to get us to the evacuation point. We've taken shelter to the underground part of Atlas Complex. Many are wounded, but we'll manage if we get complex, the complex in order. The explosion damaged the life support system, and we need resources and repairs. Please help us. We can repay you the information that, that would interest Crust. Colonel Moray saved us at the cost of his life, but we never betrayed his ideals. He wasn't completely honest with us. Perhaps that's what doomed him. If it saves lives of my colleagues, I'm willing to compromise so that the commander's sacrifice wasn't in vain. Oh, okay. I'm trying to say that the flight recorder we received through the cargo terminal was a decoy? Not bad. We still have a chance to uncover crust secrets. Ooh. Okay. Okay. 
so that is not the crash oh we got stuff to pick up the crash site as well cool uh, the Atlantis complex needs 50 Director, components we're closely monitoring the situation with hope too and are aware of the offer you received you already know that crust made a deal with the station's commander and the crew is not prepared to fulfill the terms they leave us no choice the atlantis complex is powered by three power plants without them the life support system will become useless the rover can disable them the classified data they were going to share with you could destroy many more lives than just one crew this is more important than us you know what needs to be done for the additional trouble you'll receive a generous reward okay okay so i'm gonna go with cross on this which is not the good thing to do i know but we're gonna kill all the people and keep trust cross secrets and that's what we're gonna do we're going to cross this this playthrough we're Direct. Going to this playthrough. you're not seriously considering this option are you yes the hope 2 commander tried to outsmart crust for nothing but it doesn't have to be at the cost of the lives of his crew no data is worth a human life that make my people very unhappy but i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it because we can because we can so um let's try and get some more stuff on it the rover upgrade increase this scout rover get some more speed into that oh and uh let's also get some social stuff going on there so let's do let's do the colonist hiring market why not got loads of stuff to do here shut down the terminals and yeah okay okay Okay, yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna we're gonna murderize those people. Yep. Yep, it's gonna happen. Oh, I shouldn't have done that, because now you're gonna come to the center and mine out. Let's uh stop that, stop that, stop that, stop that, stop that. No. Uh mine it this way. Oh, we've got silicon down here. Ah, okay. Um, I did scan uh, for some more aluminium and um, but for some aluminium I should say not some more for some aluminium and found nothing um, I would like to come up here and scan so let's uh, start doing that as well shall we let's do that we've got uh, I need to scan that one as well because we haven't scanned that yet so do that um okay so you're doing your thing here right let's bring power now the power comes down uh differently for these guys because obviously they're not you power that one you power that one. There we go. okay and then you will come out and along and you will stop there you will come out along and stop there we'll then go underground and you'll pop up there and then you'll have a belt that comes out and connects to there build and then this is going to be rare of metals um which i might i don't know where we're going to process them obviously we're going to have an elevator here bringing stuff down so that might have to be processed up here and then brought down across this way um i haven't built this in a way where i can actually get belts into the side of this didn't think about that but i want to have the belts come out this way so that we can upgrade these to large containers later have more going on with them so that's the plan that's the plan okay not a patch on the module uh that's because it's not connected <laughs> you fine uh you want 48 and 48 so you actually already want a a faster belt um i need to upgrade all of that if i just click once bump there you go we'll upgrade all of that you actually already want the faster belt so that's fine which means this needs to be a faster belt as well so let's upgrade this one it's nineteen thousand, which is fine and that upgrades this one here and then we want to upgrade this guy here so we've got two going into one yeah and in fact what i'm gonna do uh, i'm also gonna upgrade uh these ones as well and that's not ideal because now that's 150 going to each one but we've only got 60 coming into these guys so it should be fine be fine what we're doing here we've got a drop off and you are also a drop off but no pickup 
and you are the pickup down here. Um, my, I'd like to put in the living quarters like here somewhere, if, if, when, whatever we do it, um, and have the carbon factory like all inside here. And then we can run this along and have like the first box here be carbon. So we can like come out the back of this. Uh, although this is where we're going to expand all of our um, things. So maybe not. Maybe we'll do the life support thing down the bottom here and we'll just tap off of this along. Or they can, the bots can pick up from the here. Uh, I'm thinking for the, um, uh, the farms require slag. So they can pick up from there and drop it off. So that would be so bad. So yeah okay let's shut these two down because they're not actually required to have power when they're running um and do you know what we'll do let's turn the repeater on and let's connect the repeater to the power is the repeater connected to the power yes it is awesome i think we've got an issue um with this because we should have had the uh cinematic that pops up and then shows us all the stuff on the surface of the moon but it hasn't triggered yet um and i think it hasn't triggered yet because when i built the um uh unless it has happened that i missed it i might have missed it i don't know did we get the video did we get the video of the uh the the pulse the sonar pulse around the moon um but yeah i think the issue is that this was enabled and not powered for a long time and now the game's kind of like mm, no no so i might remove it and replace it um put it smack bang in the same spot where's its door its door is there go faster Put it, uh, doesn't really matter where it goes, to be honest with you. Put it there. Uh, the observatory in an extremely dismal state. The main dome with analytical equipment is damaged, as are the L-shaped four kilometer interferometers. The entrance terminals and workspaces are also damaged, and the doors appear to be jammed. Every time I open the door carefully and we find stuff inside there, this time around, we're gonna go, um, it's a job. The drones have started the job. I'll let you know when there's more information. With the Italian job. Oh, uh, seven resources to the survivor. Oh, oh, we need to, um, yeah. Do we have, we got 71 components. Okay. Uh, X, push the button here. But we don't want to do that because we're going to kill them. So I don't want to do that. No. We've got 24 days to complete that. Okay. That's fine. We're going to do that instead. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully we get the ping this time. Kill, kill, kill them all. Uh, the advantage of the multi red lips as well, uh, even though we don't have any aluminium, we will be getting some aluminium. Um, so you see here, this is this is running uh, because even though the red lift we're mining up is is terrible, it's only like six percent aluminium or something. It's uh, was it five percent aluminium? We're getting that five percent, whereas previously we were wasting the five percent, completely losing it. So we are getting some aluminium in, which means we'll be able to upgrade our battery system. what we're gonna do yeah okay um so mine now just square this off for a minute then oh yeah they're gonna take out that's fine that's fine okay. so let's scan yeah now get that and there's nothing here we know there's nothing here it's right here okay i cannot for the life of me see a thing because it's very bright in this room so careless intervention there was an explosive decompression 
Apparently there was still air in the compartment. As a result of our actions, some of the equipment was damaged. Uh -oh. We can send the cargo rover for the drones and resources. Oh. It's there! It's there! We found some. We actually found some. I'm 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 impressed. What the hell just happened there? Uh we found some. We found some aluminium. I can't believe it. Any more right here? Uh, oh, something there. Iron. Oh, we found some aluminium. Right, okay. Mine, drones. You were going to mine. Area around the aluminium. And then we're going to mine a path to it. Uh, which is going to be up here. Go, drones, go. Not they're mining down here first, but that's okay. We'll let them do that. Uh, we've got stuff on the floor that the drones aren't picking up yet. Like loads of stuff on the floor the drones aren't picking up. Uh, these are definitely allowed to be drop off, so I'm not quite sure why, but. Hmm. We've got some resources. Okay. The internal compartments of the observatory were found to be filled with air. This is strange because during autonomous operation, the air is usually evacuated and there is no permanent staff here. Judging by the disorder at the workstations and the active terminals, someone was here before us. The information in the database has been partially lost and the log files have been cleared. Whoever was here extracted data about the explosion and deleted the original files. Nevertheless, we managed to obtain data on gravitational wave research and dismantle valuable equipment. Cool. Now I'm going to send you to here uh, to pick up all of that. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see what happens when we um, start we saving these things here. Do, 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 do. With less time expected, the complex is failing. One of the three power units is no longer functioning. Fred, we don't have enough energy to hold out until it's repaired. You must hurry and save us. Director, you should know that I do not approve of such sacrilegious use of the rover. It is designed to help people, not to set up accidents. Shush. We have to scan this one, or is this... Ah, so we have to go... So there's two of them. So there's going to be probably one down here. And one over here. We got evil. 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 I might have been doing it because I've never done it before. I've never done this sort of thing before. Um, so we have definitely built another repeater and powered it. And we haven't got any uh, thing going on with that. Did, did, I'm, I'm, I don't remember on this playthrough if we've done... I don't remember seeing it. I don't know, and if we had seen it, surely we would have had more of these question marks on the map, because you get loads of these question marks on the map, so... Don't know. Don't know. This is going to be a problem. Because the sun is setting, and we've only got 10 days left. Do 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 the units have already stopped functioning. We have been forced to re-repair, switch off the lights to see in total darkness. Please help us, we don't have much time left. A grave mistake. We're not bound to carry out Crust's reckless schemes. There's still time to help the crew. We are helping them. We're helping them to a peaceful resolution. I wonder if they if the the, the advisors um 
rebel against you. <laughs> oh, oh, the rover's running out of power now. Uh oh, uh oh. Please make it. Because it's 14 day night and we've only got eight days to complete this assignment, so. I don't think it's going to make it. I don't think it's going to make it. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Oh, can we do it? Can we do it? Can we Can we assist the people in uh, their freedom? I'm sorry, but Crust Tubbies do it. <laughs> this is evil. This is wrong. I know. But it is a story option I've never done before. Come on, everyone's done that evil playthrough on on Fable or or uh, you, know. you can save the person. No. Let's see what happens. Objective achieved. Director, you did the right thing. Those people didn't realize the power of information and how devastating it can be in the wrong hands. A wise leader must be able to make difficult decisions. Under your guidance, the company has a good chance to become a leader in Lunar Industries. Good job. Yeah, see, we're a wise leader. Wise leader. Smart. You Smart. just killed over a dozen people. I hope you know what you're doing. The loss of the entire station crew is a huge blow to the scientific community. However, mourning won't solve for urgent problems. Send her over to the Atlantis complex. Let's see what the crew left for future generations. Okay, we'll do that first. <laughs> um, not enough power? Hmm? Oh yeah, 316 and we don't have enough. Okay, so let's turn the repeater off. Um, that'll drop our usage down and then we can actually have more. Uh, because what I haven't done here... I should really use the wiring tool for that. Um, there is a uh, function here to disable wires and it doesn't remove buildings because you could easily accidentally delete a building when trying to remove wires. And if you delete the building, there's no way to cancel the deletion of the building. They haven't implemented that yet, which they really need to do. <laughs> really, 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 really need to do that. So. Okay. so, we are getting a nice supply of things in. Um, come in quite nicely. Boom, boom, boom. Excellent, excellent. These are our, our storages. So uh, the idea is going to be that the um, the cargo dropper is going to be here, um, and we'll drop off at elevators, which will be here. So they'd be like, I might put two elevators in, and split like two butts one way and two butts the other way, uh, and then maybe even a third elevator in on this side for the rare of metals, and then the production is all going to be here unfortunately that silicon is kind of in the way but that's okay we can we can do that so production is going to be here going along this way oh we got aluminium in there yay awesome our rovers are picking up the uh slag and up and down which is awesome uh, you want 60 a minute, and this belt was running 60 a minute, so that's fine. Uh, yeah. So we're all good. We're all good. We just need to let it go for a bit and see how it goes. So, yeah. Um, I've kind of held off on the Aurora project. Um, as I said in the previous episode, I have a feeling that once you complete this, that's when the laser thing triggers. So I'm kind of testing whether we can hold back, build our base up. Because if that is the case, that means... Uh, when you pick the Royal Project, because you, you pick either side, it still gives you roughly the same sort of supply and demand missions. That's kind of your your lead. Um, it should be like, okay, so... Um, like, the first contract wants you to make modular frames. So you should build a base to make modular frames. Don't worry about the bonus. Don't, that's what I was doing. I was trying to get the bonus as quickly as possible. Don't worry about that, because the contracts are infinite. So get up to that point, and then, boom, and then do the next mission, and boom, and, and then you'll hopefully be prepared for the laser contract because the laser tower uh, thing is just evil. 
it's 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 just evil it's just absolutely evil um director i congratulate you our lunar production is so popular that companies are willing to approach us directly bypassing the common tender system certainly this is great news and by fulfilling urgent contracts we will receive increased rewards and earn an excellent reputation however companies will expect us to be supplied in remarkably short time if we can't meet their expectations or if we frequently reject their requests they'll think twice next time before contacting us i strongly encourage you to take urgent contracts to a higher level because the entire business reputation of our company depends on them yes we will don't worry but we'll do the next episode i'm happy with this now um uh, i have space above ground to put in stuff for like expeditions uh, for um uh like elevators to go up and we can move the um lunar landing platform over here somewhere so we can have stuff go to surface and the drones don't have to move so quickly which would be awesome cargo rover can go there and drop off and so on and so forth everything can be awesome and um we are um yeah so let's come back next time and let's see what atlantis has left for us and uh then we'll have a look at our distress call and i'll see if i can figure out why we're not triggering the uh the repeater thing but we'll try that we'll try and figure that one out so yeah okay thank you very much for watching everybody i hope you have enjoyed this one i hope to see you again in the next one and until then as always have fun